Well, we're thinking of a whole variety of options for how you could do better at authentication. So you can start with nearer term things like uh, tokens or fobs that might have NFC or Bluetooth embedded in them, but you can also think about a, a means of authentication that you could simply wear on your skin every day for a week at a time, say an electronic tattoo. Now, we're talking about wearables. Everybody's interested in wearables. I'm profoundly interested in wearables. <laughs> And what I, what I will tell you is that there are Where some, that? we've made a lot of advances in wearables, but there's still some fundamental problems that we haven't solved. Like one of them is the mechanical mismatch between humans and electronics, right? So electronics are boxy and rigid, humans are curvy and soft. That's a mechanical mismatch problem. Well, a researcher at the University of Illinois, his name is Dr. Rogers, what he discovered is that he could use standard CMOS techniques to make islands of high-performance silicon connected by accordion-like structures that would allow it to stretch up to 200% and still be performing. And what he did is he founded a company and they started making electronic tattoos. So I, I'm wearing one here on my arm. Do we, do we have here. a camera to get a... This is a, develop, this is a developmental system made by MC10, and it has uh, an antenna and some sensors embedded in it. And what we plan to do is work with them to advance a tattoo that could be used for authentication. Now, it may be true that 10 to 20 year olds don't want to wear a watch on their wrist, but you can be sure that they'll be far more interested in wearing an electronic tattoo if only to piss off their parents, <laughs> right? And that can have a design, right? Because sure. they would certainly want some kind of cool design. Options, right? options. And that's something that you wear, but you could also imagine including authentication in just your daily habits. So I take a vitamin every morning. What if I could take vitamin authentication? What? Vitamin authentication. Look, I have one right here. Well, here, I'll let you hold it. Mm. Would you like to hold it? I'll hold it. OK. <laughs> so this. You guys see it? This pill has a small chip inside of it with a switch. It also has what amounts to an inside-out potato battery. When really you small. swallow it, the acids in your stomach serve as the electrolyte, do it. and they power it up, and the switch goes on and off. And it creates an 18-bit ECG-like signal in your body, and essentially your entire body becomes your authentication token. Yes, this is true. Okay. Okay, but. Okay, so wait. But, so it's uh, it's really true. So what this means is that that becomes my first superpower. I really want this superpower. It means that my arms are like wires, my hands are like alligator clips. When I touch my phone, my computer, my door, my car, I'm authenticated in. First superpower. Like I want that. So so we're not shipping that right away. Yeah. No. <laughs> we're not shipping that right but, away. But it sounds but is it, like is it, this is FDA cleared. So here's the thing. This. This is not science fiction. This pill was actually made by a company called Proteus, and they've developed it for medical applications. That pill has been CE stamped and cleared by the FDA. You can take 30 of those per day for the rest of your life. And then what happens? Does your heart Nothing. beat change? Does your <laughs> we can just tell that you've you taken the pill. I mean, the medical, appli yeah. the medical application Does Google is now know everything I do and <laughs> everywhere I go? Because <laughs> yeah. let's face it. Can we we just, like you guys, but you're from Google. Just give him some water and let him take so, that so pill I, right now. Thanks. Maybe, maybe Dennis. Dennis, let me ask you. Does Larry make you take one of these? <laughs> it's optional. So, so it's we, optional. Uh, so we actually have demoed this working and authenticating a phone. Yeah. 